All right. Thanks for joining me today. Go ahead and put my video here. All right. Let's talk warm up. We're going to take uh, this may be a little bit longer of a warm up just because of what we're doing, but let's look at it here. So we've got a couch stretch that we'll hold together looking for a minute and a half um, ish on each side. Um, so we'll just kind of hold through that stretch together. And then we're going to go three rounds of air squats and a reverse crunch. Okay, so you can see here it says nice and easy. We're going to take our time through this, keeping our quality high. Okay. So, go ahead and um, we'll find some space to get the couch stretch going. Now, if you don't have a couch in your space um, or anything to prop your leg up on, feel free to just do um, a standing quadricep stretch by just pulling back like this and we'll hold that. I'm going to get a clock going too. So, got some time here. Don't pay attention to the beat. All right, so couch stretch, if you are not familiar, we're gonna get in sort of a lunge stance, stance here. Um, and that back leg, I'm trying to get up against something. So here I'm using a box, you can use your couch, you can use a wall. Yeah, it looks like we're pretty good here. The closer your knee gets, the further that stretch is gonna get. And as you can see, I've got this prop right here, kind of blends in with the, the ground, but, I'm using that to push myself up a little bit higher, okay? What I'm really striving for here, guys, is this hip extension, okay? You're gonna feel that pull in this general area of your leg. And what you can do is kind of pulse through the hamstring as well, on and off, and it's gonna deepen that a little bit, okay? As we're holding this, you may find that um, you start to sink a little bit deeper in that stretch. Maybe it becomes a little bit easier on you. So let's keep holding that. And again, we'll go about a minute and a half on each side. If we start to feel a little rough in this stretch, okay, if it becomes too deep, it starts to hurt a little bit, um, never, never push through that sort of pain, guys. So just kind of relax out of that. You can take your, you know, drop your chest to the ground. You can take that angle a little bit less deep. So really just kind of feel that out. Good. We'll go about 10 more seconds or so and switch. Keep holding. Awesome. All right, guys. We'll fall out of that. Kind of ease your way out of that leg. Nice soft movement here. Be careful with your body. And we'll switch legs. Get that other leg into position. And we'll hold that one. Good. Excellent. You may find um, some difference between the two sides there. You know, maybe this side that we're on now feels a little bit easier. Uh, maybe you're like me. This is my left side now. It's a little bit tighter. Generally happens with me. Just taking that stretch easy, guys. Again, the longer you sit here, the more you'll be able to kind of sink into that stretch and let it start to feel a little bit better. Remember that you can actively squeeze your hamstring to deepen this stretch. Okay, maybe hold that squeeze for two to three seconds, on and off, on and off. Keep holding. We'll go a little bit longer, keep holding. About 10 more seconds here, guys. Awesome. Go ahead and ease on out of that. And let's come back up to our feet. We're going to go through now some air squats and reverse crunches, okay? So in the warm up itself. It says 8 to 15 air squats. This first time, let's take things a little bit slower, okay? 
So let's go ahead and find our good squat stance here. My feet are just outside of my hip width. I'm gonna squat down to the bottom and let's hold this bottom position a little bit longer. Okay, maybe this is the first big movement that you're doing today. You take in the morning easy. Maybe we need to open up a little bit. Yeah, if the bottom position there comes difficult, just stand right back out of it, okay? You don't have to sit in it that long. And let's do a couple of these guys, okay? They don't have to be as long as the first one, so maybe just a couple of second hold at the bottom, and then a good form on the way up. Keeping that chest tall and giving a good glute contraction at the top there. Okay, let's just kind of ease here. Don't worry about rep scheme, just worry about feeling good. I'll let you know when we can stop, uh, start finishing these up, okay? Just doing some nice, slow, controlled, good quality squatting here. Good. If you're looking for a little bit extra, um, in the bottom of that squat, I sometimes like to do this rotation. I've shown you guys before, you can use your bottom arm to kind of press against that leg, and really open up that torso. It's really good. If you're doing this, make sure that you externally rotate that thumb, pointed back, it's gonna feel really good. Go ahead and get a two to three more here, and then we'll move on to our crunches. Excellent. If you're feeling good, let's go ahead and drop down to the ground. So let's talk reverse crunch here real quick. So going to First and foremost, like a lot of this ab work that we've been doing at home, um, since we don't have ab mats, we're gonna get our lumbar spine flush to the ground. So my pelvis is rotated upwards. Now I'm gonna lift my legs up to the sky. And this reverse portion, guys, I'm lifting my bottom off the ground, trying to go straight up and right back down. Okay, so let's get a couple of nice, slow, controlled reps here as well. We should be contracting our lower abdominals to complete this. Try to make this a little bit slower, okay? On the way back down, don't let gravity take control. You take control of that. Try to slow it down a little bit. This, that slower time under tension is gonna burn a little bit more. Good. The rep skin here says eight to 15. Let's get about 10 this first time. Again, just working on slow controlled and kind of getting used to this movement. Excellent. We'll call that good, guys. We'll go ahead and pop on back up. So round two here, let's go ahead for 12 air squats. Okay, so not as slow as the first round. Let's kind of take this at like a two second tempo down and up. Let's go for 12 total. Good. Nice squat movement, right? We're pressing our knees outward over our toes, allowing our hips to drop straight down. Chest is tall. Quad glute squeeze at the top. Good guys, once we've gotten 12 there, let's drop back to the ground. Let's go for 12 reverse crunches here. Okay, let's keep the nice controlled lower motion on these though for each round. Good guys. We all look pretty solid. I'm not gonna be particular about your hand position. I feel a little bit more comfortable with my hands down by my bottom, um, but we can do, if you can see Coach Kelly's screen by chance, she's holding on to some weights up overhead. Anything works here, guys. 
We'll go ahead and pop back up after we finish 12 crunches. And let's go for full 15s this time. 15 air squats, okay? So we can pick this pace up just a little bit. Let's go one second down, one second up. Okay, keep that good form going though as we're here. Keeping that chest tall. Be conscious about the way that your body's moving. What kind of muscles are working right now? What do you feel? Okay, acknowledge every sort of movement here. When we get 15, we'll drop to the ground. We'll finish out with 15 reverse crunches. Again, try not to speed these up. Still keep that slow, controlled motion going on. We look so good in rounds one and two. Don't start right now. You know I think that you're perfect, but I know why it's not working. You've always had the worst timing, and I've had a thing for all night. Excellent work, guys. My friends, I'll wake up and do it again. I say that I'm guilty and do it again, 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 again. I wanna be young and party. Be someone never feel sorry. Become a freak of my body. Awesome. Yeah, if you're like me, you may feel that the heart rate picks up just a little bit. Breathing has increased for sure. When we're done here, guys, let's go ahead and sit up. Feel free to grab some water. We'll wait for everybody to finish up here. Take your time, guys. No rush. Good. Looks like we are all done. Claudia and Donna stepped off screen. I'm just going to assume they went to get some water. So let's go ahead and look at the screen. Let's talk workouts. Cool. Okay. So depending on what level you are, we may be working on some pistol action. Maybe that's a full-on standard pistol. Maybe that's a pistol to a chair, box, whatever piece of equipment you've got. Or maybe we're just doing front step lunges, okay? Gonna get a good burn in here no matter what. Um, let's make sure that we're paying attention to the rep scheme as well. Hopefully you've talked to your coach and you know which version you're doing here. Um, with those pistols, we've got a set of those or front step lunges followed by some anchored sit-ups. Okay, then round two, so to speak, your rep scheme for those pistols decreases, your sit-ups stay the same. Okay, then round three, again, your pistols decrease a bit and your sit-ups are the same. The final piece of this is a little bit of cardio. Okay, I'm going to have this clock still running behind me as we go. So it's your job to either look at that clock or time yourself. And we're looking for about an eight minute portion of cardio here. Okay, so you can see right here it says run four minutes out at a strong pace and then turn around and come back. Um, again, this may be difficult with um, where we're at, you know, what kind of backyard we have, what sort of equipment we've got going on, anything like that. Um, your alternative, though, would be, um, it says biking, jump rope. Um, I will tell you that our accessory work is double unders today. Um, so maybe hold off on jump roping unless you want to count this as your accessory piece. That's cool, too. Um, or just some low step ups. Again, just looking for more of a cardio pace there than strength, so to speak. Okay. But that's going to be eight minutes total. Any questions about the rep scheme here or the general idea before we talk through front step lunges, pistols, and sit up? Feel good? All right. I know we've got a lot of different rep schemes going on here. So if you need a little uh, pad next to you where you write these down, that's great. I'll do one more, if I remember, one more share screen um, before we start the workout just to cover any final questions there, okay? But let's go ahead and talk through each of these. So, front step lunges and pistol work. Do I have a question? I do, I do have a question. So, yeah. uh, lunges part 15 and 15. 
Hold on, say that one more time, Claudia. The lunges, is it 30 per leg or is it 15 and 15? Good question. So for for the lunges and the pistols, okay? If we see 30, for example, that's alternating. Um, so also depends on what your coach has mentioned to you because Claudia, I think that you and I talked about maximizing one side before we hit the other, okay? Yeah. The alternating piece of this, if we were doing that, it would be 15 per leg, okay? So if I'm doing the alternating version, I'd go right is one, left is two, right is three, left is four, all the way to 30, okay? So I've gotten 15 per leg during that round. Um, but for you, and if your coach has talked to you about doing this, like I wanted you to maximize one side first, so you would do 15 on your left, 15 on your right, that's your 30 total. Okay, good question. Does that make sense? Okay, cool. All right, guys. So, pistol work or front step lunges? Okay, I'll go over both. So let's start with the pistol work. I'm gonna use this box for a little bit of assistance here. And that pistol piece just means that I am lifting up one of my legs. I'm gonna shift my weight into the leg that is still on the ground. So in this case, I'm shifting my weight into my left leg. And now I've got, similar to just a one-legged squat, okay, I'm gonna squat down to that box, keeping my chest tall and my arms out. And then I fully stand, okay? Very important that this leg, just like a normal squat, does not try to cave in, okay? You've only got one leg to do this on, so the activation is gonna try to, or is gonna be a little, a little bit more than you would, of course, splitting that between two legs, right? So it's gonna be a lot, easier for your body to try to cave that knee in okay try to keep that as active and out as possible okay maybe you're on a full on pistol i don't know if i should demonstrate this i don't think i can get that low <laughs> uh, just like that but maybe a little bit better <laughs> okay um you can have a counterweight if you want to guys so i got this small little um so i had a wobbly camera there I got this little kettlebell. I'm just gonna hold that out in front of me, okay? Sometimes this helps with balance, even though you're adding weight to your movement. It's okay, sometimes that helps. So similarly with your front step lunge, as we're going out, in the pistol this works too. You wanna think that your full foot on the ground is taking off, up all of that weight, okay? You want full distribution evenly between that foot the difference with the front step lunge is that now I'm gonna push off through the heel to stand back up, okay? My entire foot catches my weight, my heel presses back up, okay? So whatever you are on now, I want you to give me about two to three practice reps per leg. Take a look at what we got going on between everybody. Say that one more time. So for the pistols, when you're standing up, do you stand up on the one leg or do you just stand up? I would st stand up on that same leg, okay? So if my leg is up and I'm balancing on my left leg, I want to keep my right leg in the air on the way down and the, the way back up. Yeah. Just like that, Viha, yeah. Yeah, and down and up is one rep, that's correct, yeah. Good, you want to try to keep that form, guys, as solid as possible on that transition to stand back up. Okay, don't get stuck on your seat, so to speak, okay? Maybe it's easier for you to just kind of touch and go, because sometimes you collapse all of your weight onto that bench, and now you've got to do this awkward, like, shift to stand back up. So maybe, whew, if I can find my balance, a touch and go might work better for you, okay? Finally, guys, just the second piece here is our anchored sit-up. So the, the thing that that means, uh, the anchored portion of that, is I've got two dumbbells right here. I'm just going to tuck my feet under those and I'm doing my sit up, that's just gonna keep my feet stationary, okay? If you don't have anything to anchor your feet, no problem, okay? Just do a normal sit up. And with these, again, just like we talked about in the warm up, if we don't have an ab mat or maybe a towel or something to put under our lumbar spine, 
make sure that's flush to the ground so that we're just contracting our abdominal, okay? So with whatever you've got, let's go ahead and get like five sit-ups in. Just make sure we're good and that we don't have any questions about sit-up form. This is one of those workouts that is making me so out of breath just by demoing. I swear I'm fit. <laughs> nice job, guys. Good. And then finally, I'll just open up the floor for any questions you have about that eight minute piece of cardio. What's that, Ann? Uh, for you, you've got 24 sit ups each time. Yeah. All right, guys, one more flash here. I did remember of the rep team here. So let's take a look. You've got just a minute or so here to get your drink of water. Um, this is nothing for time, guys. So I'm actually just going to have you start whenever you are ready. Again, I've got this clock that I've restarted now that's going to go behind me. Um, so just make sure that you've got some sort of timing set up for when you hit that eight minute buy out cardio piece, okay? Other than that, we are just looking for quality with every single rep. Do not rush through these movements, okay? Let's go ahead and get started. A big rep team as far as the pistols go, so make sure that our height is at a height where it can still be challenging, but we can make it through all of those reps with good quality, right? Nice guys, I'm seeing some really good control so far with these pistols. Remember that that leg that is staying on the ground should be resembling the squat as much as we can. Keeping that chest tall. Judge after these first few reps if a counterbalance is going to be the way to go. You feel a little bit more wobbly on your foot. Maybe you feel yourself sitting in your heel a little bit too much on the pistol. Maybe you're coming up in the toe or the side of your foot. Try a counterbalance to see if that kind of evens things out for you. Nice work, guys. And our sit up should be pretty familiar, of course, just as a sit up in general. Let's make sure we're getting a full rep. Okay, hands are touching behind our head. And at work, when we're at the top, our hands are touching our foot or the ground by our feet. Job, Claudia. Keep that chest up at the bottom. When we transition back to the top, we're punching over just a little bit.
Awesome work, Donna. Make sure that we get that little bit of press outward as we do that. So yeah, Donna's got a great idea too. She took round one, going to a chair. Now she's attempting to go a little bit lower, all the way to the ground, but still using that chair for stabilization. That's a good option too. Long as our form's looking good. You ain't getting money. Why you looking up, boy? Stop. I caught the wave. I caught the wave. Looking good, guys. Remember that we're not doing any sort of timing here, right? You do not need to be concerned about time the least bit, right? Quality, quality, quality. If you go to sit down in one of those pistols and it didn't quite feel right, the form went off the honest with yourself, take just a, a break, okay? Take a couple of breaths. So shoulders roll back even though we've got that weight. Don't let him pull your chest down. I caught the wave. 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 I caught the sharks and they're swimming with the fishes. I caught the wave, I caught the wave. I caught the wave, I caught the wave. I caught the sharks and they're swimming with the fishes. Talk. Talk. Nice work, guys. Talk. Keeping it going. Talk. Very pleased with the form that I'm seeing from everybody. We're looking really good. job and excellent job guys Good body. Pay attention to your front knee. It's coming up over your toe, so it's actually pulling all of the weight distribution into your toe. Your heel's leaving the ground just a touch. Okay, so try to take maybe a little bit bigger of a step, or try to move your torso straight down rather than forward. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it, girl. Nice work, everybody. So remember, there are three rounds of this, and your rest team on the pistols are going down. Okay, no need to rush. If you finish your sit-up, no need to go straight into the pistols. Take a second, regroup, then we'll get to it. Got plenty of time with this. We're looking good. I'm running out of time, because I can see the sun light up the sky. So I hit the road and overdrive, baby. Looking good with that leg too, Claudia. Awesome. No one's around to judge me. I can't see clearly when you're gone. Oh, oh, and I said, Ooh, I'm blinded by the lights. No, I can't see clearly when you're gone. Nice job, Vita. On this leg right here, try to get that straight leg. Keep it 
straight. On the way up with this one, you tend to bend that leg just a little bit. Yeah. But the other side looks good. Okay, guys, as you're getting ready for your cardio piece, remember to take a look at the clock or time yourself. Looking good, guys. Remember that when we do get to that cardio, we're still looking at a strong pace, okay? So cardio-wise, you want that to be a strong movement, right? If we're on step-up, the step-ups are low, so we should be able to move fast through them, okay? If we're jump roping, if we're running, think faster pace, okay? Yes, Kelly Macklin, just like that. Good. Nice job, Fiha. Nice, Claudia. Don't forget you can use your arms as momentum, right? Pull them up behind your head on the ground, throw them forward. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't come out. Don't stop caring about me now. Walk away. You know how. This is my favorite song right now. Fun fact. Do a Lipa, anybody? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Tell you have a bike. <laughs> nice job, guys. Remember, no need to rush if you're still working on the strength portion of this, right? Quality with every lunge, every sit up. You got it. Don't show up. Don't come out. Don't stop caring about me now. Walk away. You know how. Don't stop caring about me now. Nice work, guys. Kelly Macklin put on a show. I love this crossover that you got going on. Nice work, Dee Dee. Looking solid with your lunges, girl. If you wanna believe that anything could stop me, don't show up, don't show up, don't come out, don't come out, don't stop caring about me now, about me now. Walk away, walk away. You know how, you know how. Don't stop caring about me now. Excellent work, everybody. Keep going. Whatever part of the workout you're in right now, keep it up. Good quality for strength pieces. Strong pacing for your cardio. Keep that movement in the cardio, right? Try to go non-stop for all eight minutes. Nice work, everybody. Keep it up. 
canción a la perfección. Por mi patria, por mi nación, ninguna discriminación. Aquí no hay raza ni religión, bailalo por obligación. Qué calor. Keep those steps up, moving and consistent. Daddy breath, you're about to hold things, guys. You can do it. Every time I feel so booty, I get loco. You lay it down below, mommy, with a lot of coco. How you move in the world, you move a little. Dale, dale, baila lo loco. How you move in the world, you move a little. Dale, dale, baila lo loco. How you move in the world, you move a little. Calentamiento global. Anda suelto el animal. Mano arriba el que es real. Esto se va a hacer viral. Qué calor, qué ca. En la discoteca, qué calor, yeka, para la muñeca, por favor, yeka, en la discoteca, qué calor, yeka, para la muñeca, por favor. Nice job, so if you're in the cardio team, um, and maybe you're just watching us from home, um, a reminder of that the accessory piece that I'll talk about coming up afterwards is uh, for double under practice, so maybe you are using this eight minutes right now for that sort of practice, depending on your schedule for today, that is fine. Otherwise, we're doing some alternative, biking, running, something consistent for eight total minutes. Keep it up, guys. You got it. I wanna get hot when you take it low, low. Make me feel strong when I'm taking control. I've been looking for my shot, so come and get it if you got it. Accessory piece of so my screen, so feel free to take a look at that if you need it. I need a bad boy that if you're working, drama. you're still working. Keep it up, now. guys. Boy, you ready for the pleasure? And don't you know it's not or never? Brief silence in the music. Keep it going. That you know it's on me. And Even back. though man ain't something I need. I want a boyfriend, so put it on me. I'm looking for a man who can take that heat. Want a boyfriend, but not too sweet. My baby got a bit of folly running that street. If you ride or die, I've been looking so long for a guy. But tell me on. I want a boyfriend, yeah, yeah. I want a boyfriend, yeah. I've been looking like that nigga. Everybody. I know you know what I mean. I get a little sexy when I'm lonely. One thing on my mind, I know what I need. All my girls around the 
you know it's on me Even though a man ain't something I need I want a boyfriend, so put that on me I'm looking for a man who can take that heat Want a boyfriend, but not too Kelly sweet My done. baby got a bit of folly running that street Is he right or die? Oh, I've been looking so long for a guy Those But tell me, oh, I want a boyfriend Yeah, yeah, one more I want a boyfriend Yeah, I've been looking like that practicing so maybe you'll alternate between some singles and some doubles just trying to practice your form for about 10 minutes or so okay otherwise you are practicing that tempo with some penguin jump or some imaginary jump rope just to get that rhythm down okay so six to ten minutes of that practice there if you're still in your cardio piece Guys, keep that up. I'll just demonstrate real quick for you this little penguin jump for those of you who don't quite have the double under. Your rhythmic piece of this is very important. For single unders, we know that the rope is just going underneath us once. So my feet touch and the flap of my thigh and the rope touching the ground. Boom, tap, boom, tap, boom, tap, boom. That's a little penguin jump. With double unders, you're just looking to tap your side twice. Boom, tap, tap, 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 boom, Okay? I'm a drummer. The rhythm's easy for me, but maybe that's the piece that you struggle with. Okay? So that's a good way to get that rhythm. Here's a hint. The only thing that should change from single under form to double under would be the height of your jump. You're going to go a little bit higher. Um, and the speed of your spin, okay? You don't want to alter any other form. You don't want to hunch forward. You don't want to pull your legs up, bend your knees, anything like that. It's just going to make it work, okay? It looks like we're all done, guys. So, Didi, if you're still working, that's cool. No worries, but we're going to go ahead and cut the recording off for the guys watching at home. Give me a high five to your camera on three, two, one. Thanks for working out with me, guys. Thank you.